Minus 10, 9, 8, The clock is seven, operating. We're underway. And quality base is Endeavor. Go and run left. Lake Placid, New York, for the men's and women's snowboard slope style this afternoon. I'm Josiah Babcock here with Evan Olmstead. We've got a slight delay, and it looks like the riders are going to kick things off in about 10 minutes from now. So if you'll please stay tuned with us, we're going to stay on the air, but take a brief break and let you guys watch the snowfall out there as the race team and riders prepare for the men's and women's snowboard slope style. We'll be back shortly.
minus 10, 9, 8, The clock is operating. We're underway. And quality goes good. Endeavor, go and run left. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2018 U.S. CSA National Championships. Brought to you in part by Patagonia. Their mission, to build the best product, cause no unnecessary harm, and to use business to inspire and implement solutions to the environmental crisis. Learn more at Patagonia.com. Patagonia, proud sponsors of the U.S. CSA. And by Reliable Racing. Whether it's Alpine and Nordic ski racing apparel and equipment, hill and event supplies, sports timing equipment, or hard-to-find race gear, Reliable Racing is your one-stop shop. Check them out on the web at ReliableRacing.com. And by Twitchell Sportswear, the home of Yeti Apparel. When you're facing truly abominable weather, the Yeti has you covered. Check out the complete collection at TwitchellSportswear.com. Proud supporters of the U.S. CSA. Good afternoon, from beautiful Whiteface Mountain in Lake Placid, New York. I'm Josiah Babcock here with Evan Olmsted, and this afternoon we are bringing you the 2018 men's and women's snowboard slope style. That's right, Joe. I think it's going to be another great day of riding out of these guys and ladies. Uh, we saw them putting it down on the rail jam. We've seen some of them putting it down on the snowboarder uh, border cross course, and I expect that they're going to be throwing it down today. we got some good snow conditions. A little sticky, it sounds like, out there. I've been seeing some big stuff from them already as they go through the qualifiers, and it's going to be a really exciting afternoon riding out of them, I think. Fantastic. We did uh, qualifiers here throughout the day up until this point. We have the top 10 women for the finals and the top 20 men for the finals. The women are going to kick things off, and then we will shift over for the first run of the men, and then everyone will be back up for a second run, women then men, and then we hope to bring you unofficial scores as quickly as possible. That's going to be it for us this week. That's right. Glad to have some uh, live scores coming at us, so we should be able to keep you posted as the ladies go through and then as the men go through as well. And uh, hopefully we can bring you some unofficial, official, whatever you want to call it, results by the end of the broadcast here. But like I said, everybody's been putting it down. Everybody's been showing up this week. It's really going to be a good day of riding. Looking at the start list here, we got some... Ladies that we've seen in the rail jam, ladies that we saw in the border cross course. We got Tessa Whedon starting it off. She's coming out of Carnegie Mellon. Followed by Brooke Mortensen, Kaylee Smith, Rachel Leitner, Breck Bachelin, uh, Karina Logan, Olivia Shively, Madison Barrett, Hallie Soderholm, and Emma Crosby. You guys should probably recognize some of those later names. We saw them putting it down the last couple of days and expect big things out of all of them today. Westminster College and Sierra Nevada College. Big showing today. That's right. No sure. surprise there. Three Sierra Nevada College ladies and four Westminster College. That's and amazing. Westminster walked away with the podium. They uh, took gold, silver, and bronze out of the women's quarter cross. So those ladies are ready to keep that train going and win some more hardware and bring it home today. So expect big things out of Westminster, big things out of SNC. Got UVA in there, NAU, and Carnegie Mellon testing for some gold, silver, and bronze as well. Everybody wants a little bit of something to hang around their neck when they head home. Let's see what people are going to put down, what they can do for us today. We were honored to uh, get to have dinner with Dr. Alan Walker last night, president of Sierra Nevada College at the uh, production team household. Very nice gentleman. Alan was great. It was great to meet him here, what he's been doing for the school. Obviously, great things as you see the results the last couple of years here at the Nationals. They are definitely owning the podium this week. Getting ready to kick it off shortly. Just waiting for the course to be clear, everybody to be ready to rock. And we'll be bringing you some snowboard action from the women's and men's USCSA National Slope Style event today. 
Might as well thank another sponsor or two. We'd like to thank Open Snow, providing weather forecasts just for skiers. Started by a meteorologist and U.S. CSA alum from Penn State. They can help you plan your race day, and when you're off the course, they will direct you to the deepest powder. Check it out at opensnow.com or download their free mobile app. And Bag Bomb. Founded in 1899 in the rugged northeast kingdom of Vermont, Bag Bomb is great for chapped lips and dry skin and works wonders in the winter. We hope that everyone at the Collegiate National Championships is enjoying their free samples at Lake Placid this week. Getting ready We'd also to like to thank here. Love Your Melon apparel brand dedicated to giving a hat to every child battling cancer in America, as well as supporting nonprofit organizations that lead the fight against pediatric cancer. 50% of profit is donated to children's cancer research and family support. Just getting ready to kick it off here. Looks like the course is ready. Looks like our judges are in place. I'm sure that our riders are ready to throw it down for us. And any minute now, we should be kicking off the women's slope style snowboard event here at Whiteface. Again, Tessa Whedon out of Carnegie Mellon will be leading it off. She'll be followed by Brooke Martinson. Kaylee Smith, Rachel Leitner, Breck Beeschling, Karina Logan, Olivia Shively, Madison Barrett, Haley Soderholm, and Emma Crosby. Looking at the course here, we got a box and rail option up top. We got two jump features, small and big side on each of those, and then a three rail option at the bottom. So four hits for these ladies and men today. Expect some creativity. Going to be judged on progression, amplitude, variety, execution. And we call it debauchery, but it's really difficult. <laughs> Let's see how debaucherous they get out there today. They've been pretty debaucherous the last couple of days as we've seen, Joe. Right, it's been an interesting, interesting day weather-wise. Here, it was gorgeous sunshine for a little while. Now we've got snow lightly falling. Tough, tough for the speed on the uh, on the course here. Yeah, uh, it sounds like sounds like they might be having a tough time clearing some of those landings. Uh, there was some debate about maybe pushing the event a little bit due to weather. But this is snowboarding, ladies and gentlemen. This is weather. Got to deal with it been a factor all week. It definitely made a difference on the border cross course and uh, apparently is affecting the slope style course as well today, but they got to contest with it. They're used to it. We grow up riding in this kind of condition, so they're going to just go out and throw down regardless. Very excited for this. This is definitely my favorite event. Some high flying aerial maneuvers, steezy rail slides. We had a lot of fun yesterday with the skiers. I expect more big things out of snowboarders today. And uh, I got to agree, Joe, this is one of my, my one of my favorite events as well. I love border cross just because of my heritage in that event. But slope style is really fun to watch. There's no doubt about it. It's a great spectator sport. They're putting it down. They've been putting it down all week. They're going to throw it down today. Should be really exciting. Oh, we got some start lists here. We got the men's start Fantastic. list as well. It's like Christmas. As I mentioned, we got Tessa Whedon, Brooke Mortensen, Kaylee Smith, Rachel Leitner, Breck Beeschling, Karina Logan, Olivia Shipley, Madison Barrett, Haley Soderholm, and Emma Crosby coming at you in the women's heat. Who we got for men, Joe? In the men's, we were going to have Kelly Jackson. That's actually Jackson Kelly. Oh, yeah, that's right. They keep putting it wrong on my thing. Sorry, I didn't mean to no, uh, I appreciate correct you it. there. I, but I wish I wish they... As I heard, it was... Uh, Actually, a filing error on his end at the beginning of ah. the season, and it's been making well for a lot of fun all season long. So, Jackson, get your name right, bro. 
Luke Robinson, Alex Broussard, Mike Moore, Trent Laubach, Isaac Laredo, Will Can, Dunga Kim, Colton Bliss, Kyle Miller, Alex Herman, Duncan Nylander, Garrett Long, Ryan Franzen, Frederick McCarthy, Nicholas Struther, Matthew Romanowitz, Robbie Rothler, Benjamin Hodgnoski, and Lucas K. rounding out the field. And we are ready to start with the ladies' snowboard slope style. Ready to kick it off. We got our Here first lady, go. Tessa Whedon, dropping in now. She's going to come into that box, greasing it, popping off nice and smooth. Let's see how much speed she can take in. Is she going for the big side of that first jump option? Oh, or just hitting the roller. Nice little grab over the landing. <laughs> Putting it down out there. We love to see everybody having fun. She's little dancing. Boogie, She's little boogieing. Boogie. Rolling over that second jump option. Coming into the last hit. She's got a lot of style out there. I love the dance moves. She comes right. into the rainbow rail. Oh, showing a little love down. to the rainbow rail. And then sitting down and say, hey, I want to hang out for a minute. It's how do okay you feel there. about it? We do little dance moves in the gully between the jumps. Or yeah. Boogieing in the gully, as we like to call that. Give her some style points for that, for sure. That's right. Getting Next up, we've got Brooke, Brooke Mortensen. Mortensen out of Northern Arizona University. Looking for Brooke coming into that box or rail. Let's see what she's got to throw down for us. Brooke's a bio major. She's a junior, carrying a 3.7 GPA out of Scottsdale, Arizona. So many impressively smart guys and gals out there this week. That's right, and building the suspense here for us, Brooke. Anxiously awaiting Brooke Mortensen's drop as we look at that first Ryan's going to fall off his seat if we don't get started here soon. He's been on the edge of his seat all week. Ryan? Ryan? Who's Ryan? Yeah, who is Ryan, Joe? <laughs> Ryan is coming up later in the men's competition. We got to ride the chairlift with Ryan. Actually, that's Ryan Franzen I'm referring to. He wanted us to say hi to his folks out there. We'll be catching Ryan in a little bit. But Ryan hasn't been on the edge of his seat. Evan has been, though. I have definitely <laughs> been on the edge of my seat here all day. Comes, and here, here comes Brooke. Brooke. Pointing into that rail. Sliding nice 50-50, popping off a little early, but love that she's going for the rail. She's coming in. It looks like the small jump option. Hopefully she can get enough speed to clear it. Nice straight air indie. Doesn't quite make the knuckle, and that definitely costs her a little. Sitting down. Looking at that second jump. She's just going to roll by and say, hey, guys, how you feeling? I'm looking at the rails. Nice pop off the knoll there. Looks like she's coming into the left side, looking at that flat rail. Sliding that box nice and smooth. Ending on a good note. Nice work, Brooke. We'll see her for another run in a few minutes. I'm looking at Kaylee Smith coming up next out of UVA. That's right, everyone gets two runs today for this women's snowboard slope style final. Boy, the snow's really starting to come down here. It's getting harder and harder to see the dirigible. And here comes Kaylee Smith. Kaylee coming into that University rail. Looks like she had a nice 50-50. We didn't see all of it, but coming into the second jump. Nice Indy over that small hit. Sticking it. Coming into the second hit. Let's see what she's got for us. Another big Indy. Getting the landings, both of them. Haven't seen that yet today from these ladies. And coming into the rainbow rail. Very nice. Sliding up and over. Nice little 180 off. Little boogie as she shifties back around. That was a solid run out Very of Kaylee. Run. Kaylee is a nursing major. She's a junior. She was fifth in nationals in the rail jam, sixth in national slope style, and ninth overall in 2017. Out of Nelson County, Virginia. Next up, we've got Rachel Leitner, one of the first of three Sierra Nevada College women coming up. We've seen Rachel a couple times this week. She's been putting it down on this border cross and rail jam. Expect sure big has. things out of her on the slope style course today as she kicks it off with SNC gals. Here, comes Here she Rachel. comes. Looking at that down rail. Sliding through the whole down rail with a solid 50-50. First one to grease that thing. Coming into the big side. Huge straight air. Nice work. And she's looking at the small side of the second hit. Comes in. Huge shifty. Love to see that. Rachel, what you got for us? Coming into the rail, she slides that rainbow rail nice and smooth. Nice work, Rachel. Putting it down on the slope style course for SNC. Looks like an old school method air off the first jump there. That was great. Sure was. Rachel's a senior out of Jacksonville, Oregon, carrying a 3.67 GPA. Thank you. 
Up next, we're going to have Breck Beischlein, Sierra Nevada College. She's a sophomore marketing major, hailing from West Lynn. Let's see what Breck can do for us. We're getting some results filtering in here. We're waiting on Rachel's score, but so far, Kaylee is leading the pack in front of her with a 29.67. Looks like Rachel actually has a 19.67. Oh, correct that. 31.00 for Rachel. So Rachel's leading the pack as we see Breck coming through into that second hit. Nice straight air. She goes for the tail grab over the small side of that first feature. Coming into the second air. Huge air. Nice Huge air from Breck. Air. And she's Maybe pointing she's it, it looks like, rainbow. at the rainbow. Greasing the rainbow as well. Nice work from Breck. These ladies are getting hot Going and through. into it. That's right. Nice run by Breck. Up next, we're going to have Karina Logan, the last of the three Sierra Nevada College women in the finals. She's a global business major, a junior, out of Lake Arrowhead. Here comes Karina. Karina's coming at you, pointing it into the box, it looks like. Nice board slide. Front board, it looked like, actually, across that whole box. Really sticking it, coming into that first air. Looks like she's going to take the small side. Tough to get speed for the big side. Huge shifty as she goes over, clears the knoll. Coming into the second air here. And a nice grab from her as she clears that second air. See what she's got for the rainbow rail for us. Sliding it over, getting a board slide at the end there. Nice work out of Karina. And high fives all around down bottom. We love the sportsman strip here at USCSA Nationals. Everybody's showing everybody some love. Nice runs by the three Sierra Nevada College ladies. All right, Olivia Shively will be the first of our Westminster College foursome. We've seen a lot out of Olivia already this week. Let's see what she's That's got right. for us on the slope style course. She's a butt kicking freshman, food sciences major, out of Smugs, Vermont. We love those East Coast riders, and here she comes into the down rail, Very sticking nice. the down rail with a solid 50 50, and she's talking. She wants that big air. Here she goes, huge grab, big side of the first hit, big side of the second hit, let's see what she's got. Another huge Indy, clearing it, really pointing it, throwing it down. She's coming into that rainbow rail. She's gonna get that board slide around at the end as well. Nice work out of Olivia. Nice run, Olivia. How those legs feeling, Olivia? There's a lot of snow out there today. She left Rachel hanging on the high five there. So rude. Well, I was, Come hoping, on. I was hoping for some intercollegiate high-fiving, but <laughs> we're going to have to work up to that. We've up seen next, a lot of that. we got Madison Barrett. Madison Barrett Second of the four Westminster College. Another freshman from West Chesterfield, New Hampshire. Riding out of Mount Snow. A couple of New England ladies. Olivia just took the lead as we get the results here. She's got a 38.67, but right behind her is Rachel Leitner with 31. And we got Madison coming at you. Grease in that rail, pointing it to the big side. Going Huge through. Indy, Bunch really out. tweaking Various. that. Big air coming into the big side again. Rolling the boop, windows boop. down. That second hit looks like it is tough to clear out there today, ladies and gentlemen, but she went so big off that first hit. Solid she board did. slide on the rainbow rail. Expect more from Madison yeah, as the day goes Madison. on. Dang, these girls are heating up. It's going to be a fun afternoon. There we go. Hugs and high fives all around. All right, nice run, Madison. Madison put it down. As we head back up to the top for Haley Soderholm, a senior from Westminster, neurosilent, excuse me, neuroscience pre-red major. I can't, I can talk today. Neuroscience <laughs> pre-med major. Let's see what Haley's got. She's coming into that <laughs> down rail. Solid board slide on that down. We haven't seen that from anybody yet today. And she is Ooh, talking. Nice she speed. wants some speed. She's going to throw it. Huge yeah. off that first hit. Nice grab. Really tweaking it out. Coming into the second hit. Same thing, just throwing it down. She has cleared that second jump better than anybody we've seen so far. And she's coming into the rail option. She's looking at the down flat down. Dang, girl, she put a 50-50 with a 180 out out of that down flat down. She is going to take this. If the judges don't give her the lead right now, I would be surprised. Solid run out of Haley. And we got one more Westminster College girl coming at you, but that was hot. We like that, Great Haley. Run. Haley can't get too comfortable with Emma Crosby coming up behind her, though. 
We've seen a Another lot out of both of them. senior from Westminster, and these two ladies have dominated the USCSA snowboarding competitions the last couple of years. There's a reason that these ladies are going in this order. Haley walking away with a 20-51 out of one judge, a 63 out of another. Here comes Emma. She's a business major and a senior out of Medina, excuse me, Adina, Minnesota. Edina, Minnesota. Haley's got a 50.33 as we wait for Emma to drop our last rider here. See if there she, she can top that. Solid nose slide. Pointing it into the first hit. Huge yeah. method. Love to see a big method out of one of these girls over that first hit. And coming into the second, she throws a big indie. She tweaks it out. She's ready for that last rail. She's coming into the down flat down too. Let's see what she's got. Nice 50-50. Goes for that front board. Comes off a little early, but that was a solid run out of Emma. Contesting Haley's 50.33 that she threw down. She sent it off that first air. Floated for a ways and then threw the method in about halfway through. It was... She was like, you know what, awesome. I'm going to be up here long enough. I'm going to take my time, right. and then I'm going to show you guys how it's done. Get to, get to think about it. Check her watch up there for a minute and see how much time she had before she landed. That was a solid run out of Emma. I don't know if it's going to top Haley. Haley's got a 50.33 as we wait for the results for Emma to come through before we kick off the men's heat here. Emma's going to walk away with 26.67. That can't be right. Stand by, ladies and gentlemen. 44.67 for Emma. So she is sitting in second right behind her teammate Haley Soderholm. And then, then it looks, looks like, like Olivia Logan. Shively might be behind her. I think Karina. Oh, you're, yeah. Olivia Shively with a 38.67. Nice. And we're ready for the men. Here Drop come it the in men. Here. This is Jackson Kelly from Westminster College starting things off. Solid front board on that down rail. Pumping for some speed into the first hit. Let's see what he's got. Huge method. He heard us talking about love for the method. He's coming into the second hit. Huge cork seven. Doesn't quite get the landing, but definitely sticking that. Yeah, we'll see it again, Jackson. You got another run. Expecting big things from him as he comes through that last rail. He gets the 50-50 with the board. Coming off a little early on the down flat down, but definitely want to see what he's got in store in his second run. That cork seven looked nice, and he's not done yet. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna keep riding. I love what I'm doing here. Everybody loves what they're doing here at Whiteface this week. Up next, we're going to have Luke Robinson from the U.S. Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs. Judges ready, let her rip. We hear over the radio, look for Luke to throw down. And we actually hear that Luke Robinson was a no-show. That's a DNS. It did not start. He's not going to show. So we're gonna and we got Alex Broussard from Lee's McRae College. Dropping in reg. Let's see what he's got on that first rail option. He's on course, we're hearing. Let's see what Alex has got for us coming into that down rail. Nice board slide with a 270 out, sticking it. Nice and smooth, he's pumping into that first hit, going for the big side. Huge, going for the seven. It looked like he didn't quite get the seven around as he got the five and then hit the knuckle. Not enough speed for that second hit. It's really sticky out there, but he has a nice little nollie going over the uh, roller of the last feature there coming into the rainbow rail. Nice board slide with a 270 out on that rainbow rail. Expect more big stuff from Alex as he gets ready for his second run. Next up we're going to have Mike Moore from North Carolina State University. Mike, bib number 50, coming at you next. Let's see what he's got in store for us. All right, dropping in regular, we got Mike Moore out of North Carolina State University coming at you. Coming into that down rail. Nice board slide, sticking it. Coming into that first hit, looks like he's got enough speed. Big shifty Big. rolling the windows down, wiping out a little bit, spinning around, just having fun tumbling in the snow. It's a snow day out there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's enjoy it. Not enough speed for that second hit as he rolls over the knuckle coming into the last hit. Looks like he's going to go into the rainbow. Almost disasters onto that down of the rainbow. Big air onto that as he board slides the second half of the rainbow nice and smooth. Scores so far at the moment. Holding down first place, Jackson Kelly with a 34.33. Alex Broussard in second with a 28.33.
Here comes Trent Laubach out of Liberty University. He's on course. We're going to be looking for him coming into that down rail. Here he comes. Solid board slide. Really textbook board slide out of Trent. Nice work. Coming into that first hit. Big backflip. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's Very get nice. inverted today. Coming in the second. Just tweaking out that melon, it looked like, a little bit. Not quite enough speed for that knoll. It looks like they're really having some tough time carrying speed in, and he gets that board slide around at the end of the rainbow there. Huge backflip out of him. Nice work, man. Everybody's having fun. We're enjoying watching you guys. Trent just threw it down with a textbook run there. Let's see what Isaac Laredo at SNC has coming up next here. He's wearing bib number 75. Those guys are just hanging down there. More than anything, this is just a fun, great team sportsmanship event. Everybody showing everybody love, sticking around, cheering everybody on. All right. And Isaac's Wilk. coming in switch, it sounds like. I thought he said bib 40. This is Will Can. Actually Will, coming Will out of Sorry Northern Arizona that. University. No, it's okay. I happen to hear the comes in switch the that radio. board slide on the front rail. Big three as he gets that tail grab, but doesn't quite make the knuckle. It's really looking like it's sticky out there, Joe. It is. And just buttering around the landing of that second hit, having some fun. Coming into the down flat down. Oh, coming in the rainbow rail. Gets that nose slide, tweaks it out. That's his first run. We'll see what he's got in store on the second. If he can clear that landing, I expect big things. Yeah, and we've got Trent Laubach taking, taking the lead with a 40.00. Trent had a great run. That's no surprise there. You got Dunga Kim coming at you next out of Westminster College in bid 51. Judges ready course is clear. Let's see what Dunga's got in store for us. Here he comes into that first down rail. Solid board slide, tapping it around, mixing it up, pumping for some speed. He's going to go big off this first hit. Dunga, how you doing, bud? Nice, seven. Gets that grab, sticking it, pumping into the second hit. Huge straight air, just trying to get that knuckle. It looks like these guys are definitely having a hard time clearing it, but coming into the rainbow rail, disasters the front Ooh, board on the rude. back side of that rainbow. Dunga, we like that in the booth, man. He's not done. He's like, guys, I'm sorry. But there are rails, and I'm going to go hit them. I'll see you <laughs> up top. <laughs> and we are moving from our 20th place qualifier all the way up to our first. So the higher position qualifiers will be coming towards the end here. Up next, we're going to have Colton Bliss. Colton Bliss out, out of, of Northern Arizona University coming at you. And the sun's poking out here. See if you don't like the weather. Wait a minute. That's right. Hard to beautiful here. Dumping like that ten minutes ago. It was definitely <laughs> coming down. It's been a beautiful morning, beautiful week here at Whiteface. Really hopefully, been enjoying it. Hopefully, as these guys keep riding, they'll get the snowpack down. If it doesn't keep coming down, and things can speed up a little for a little more speed for these airs for them. Yeah, and Colton Bliss coming into that down rail, greasing that. You know what? I own you, rail. Coming into that first hit, plenty of speed. It looks like huge rodeo. Ah. Dumps it a little bit over the landing, Pumping but he's still got enough speed for that second hit. Not giving up. Just trying to clear that landing, man. Ooh. Yeah, that's tough if you don't carry the speed up the first. Coming into the rainbow rail, sliding that board slide around. He's going to come back up, and he's going to do it again for us. I have a feeling that Colton Bliss is going to throw it down on his second run. And Dunga Kim has taken the lead with a 56.67. Can't say I'm surprised there. Dunga really threw it down for us. Trent Laubach still holding down second place with his 40. And... Jackson Kelly in third at the moment with a 34.33. Those gentlemen all did a great job. We got some <laughs> solid riders coming up though, man. We've seen a lot of these boys in the rail jam or in border cross. And I expect some big things looking at right. the starting Kyle, list. Oops, sorry. Kyle Miller <laughs> dropping switch out of James Madison University. Coming in switch to that first hit. Huge, 180 to 50-50. Really tucking into the first air. Here he comes. Big three. Oh, he eats it, but that was so stylish. He got like a shifty halfway through that 360 with the Indian. That looked nice. Let's hope we see that again next round. Yeah, sorry, Kyle, but we like what we've seen so far. We're expecting big things from him. Nice little playful ollie shifty tail tap over that landing. Coming in with a, looks like he was going for the 360 off the rainbow rail, but... Sits that one down as well, but he's definitely out there having fun. Kyle's going to come back for another run. 
and Alex Herman out of Westminster is up next. We hear Let It Rip. Let's see what he's got. On course, Alex Herman coming at you, coming into that down rail. Huge method Ooh, to rip. front board. Look at that. That's new. We haven't seen that yet today, and he's really pumping for some speed into that first hit. It's a big three with Indy. Smooth. Really taking his time on that. Comes in with a huge 180 and a grab over that last hit. He knows what he's doing out there, ladies and gentlemen. Comes on board slide. Comes off switch of the rainbow rail. That was a great run out of Alex. Another Westminster College boy. We're going to see a couple of them coming up as well. Duncan Nylander from North Carolina State University will be following. Let's see what Duncan's got in store for us if you look at that first rail. You know what my favorite part of the day is, Joe? All those guys hanging out, having a good time, cheering everybody on. Good, I was going to say breakfast, so I'm glad. That's a much better answer. <laughs> They're all just sitting down there rooting for each other, and that is what makes snowboarding the sport that I love. Me everybody too. is just so stoked. And skiing, too. We've seen such great sportsmanship out of all the ladies hey, and men. Everyone, every step of the way. So I have good. not seen one example of poor sportsmanship in any of the events we've called all week long. It's not one. It's, uh, it's inspirational. It's good to know there's still some good people and camaraderie going on out there. Absolutely. I not, a, not I was, enough of that. I told you I was up top on the uh, women's snowboard cross. Took a run to get some POV footage for us. And, you know, every girl is cheering every girl on as they get ready, pulling in the gate. Everybody's cheering them on. Doesn't matter what school. It looks like Alex Herman has pulled into second place with a score of 52.33. Alex had a great run. Duncan Here Newlander comes Duncan. coming in. Board slide, greasing that whole down rail. Pumping for some speed as he looks at that first hit. Let's see what he's got over the first jump for us. Big three tail grab. Really sticking that nice and clean. Nice work, Duncan. Coming in the second air. Going the other way. Spinning opposite. Gets the three with the Indy. Barely clearing the landing, but he's like, you know what? I don't care. I'm going to land anyway. Disaster to front board on that down flat down. Really putting it down. Doesn't quite pull it off, but that was a big run out of Duncan. Very nice. Duncan's coming out of North Carolina State University. Showing us how North Carolina rides. Solid ride riding out of him as we look for Garrett Long coming out of Liberty. Coming up next in bib number 20. Dropping in regular. Let's see what Garrett has in store for us. He's on course, we hear. Looking at that down rail. Here he comes nice and smooth into a nice front board. Front nose almost on that down rail. Yeah, yeah. The front half. And coming in the first hit, nice three yeah. with an indie. I got to talk to you about that, Joe. Oh my goodness, throwing Throw it. it down, going for a corks. It looked like a misty seven. As he comes into the last hit here, popping on that rainbow, getting a nice board slide. That, talk that is how it. you spin. Yeah. That is something that is really hard to learn. That's what coaches try and teach you. you got to spin off your toes. And that's not what anybody who gets into the sport is accustomed to doing. It's so unnatural if you're going frontside like that to spin off your toes. But it is so crucial. And he just stuck it. That was great style. Gonna great riding out of Garrett. See how the judges score that one. At the moment, we've got Dunga Kim in first place. Alex Herman in second. Trent Laubach in third, and Duncan Nylander in fourth. This is our boy Ryan Franson coming up. We got to ride the chair with Ryan earlier this morning. Let's see if Garrett Long knocks anybody off there. Ah, Garrett Ryan's Long. Ryan's coming in with a 270 onto that down rail. Ryan doesn't need goggles. As he comes in with a big five, Ooh. sticking it, getting a little shifty halfway through that five, and coming in switch to the last hit. Doing another five. Oh, hangs onto it. Barely hangs on, getting a little wheelie for us as he comes in and just riding across that rainbow. I'm not sure what he was going for. Maybe he was going to do a hand plant. He's like, you know what? I'm just out here having fun. I'm covered in snow. Ryan, nice work, man. Yeah, we got to ride the chairlift with Mr. Franzen earlier today. He wanted us to say hi to his parents and his girlfriend, Susan. Just kidding. <laughs> he wanted to say hi to his girlfriend, Emily. Emily, we're sorry. He spoke we very, he spoke very kindly of you, Emily. <laughs> Emily's back home cheering on Ryan as he comes through with a solid run. Doesn't quite stick it, but expect big things out of Ryan. He's coming out of Iowa State University. And Up next, we've got Frederick McCarthy from Sierra Nevada College. 
The next three riders are all from Sierra Nevada. Four more Sierra Nevada riders to come in the run. We saw all these Sierra Nevada boys in the uh, rail jam the other day. They were definitely throwing it down. Let's see what Frederick has in store. Right, our, our top six qualifiers are all from Sierra Nevada or Westminster College. They seem to be the dominant two schools this week. Yeah, no surprise there, Joe. They've been crushing it. They've been owning a couple podiums here and there. Frederick and here on comes course. Frederick McCarthy. Big 270 front board. Just stomping it. He's like, you know what? I know what I'm doing. Here I come jump. I'm going to throw down a big five with a there nice tail grab, really easy. tweaking it. Coming in, switch to that last hit. And throwing a three, getting the knuckle a little bit, but really getting that grab and doesn't care. He's like, you know what? I land wherever I want. Disaster onto the down of that down flat down with a nice board slide. Sitting down a little bit, unfortunately, down bottom. But dang, that was a nice run out of Frederick. Went big and made that top air look so easy, yeah, so smooth. Did. And Ryan Franson has moved into fourth place at the moment. So we've got Dunga Kim in first, Alex Herman in second, Garrett Long in third, Ryan Franzen in fourth. Dunga really threw down. I hope that uh, hope we see more big stuff out of him in the second round. I don't know if that score is going to hold up as these uh, SNC and Westminster boys come through, but he definitely wants All it. All right. I bet Frederick's going to knock someone out of there. We've got Nicholas Struther from Sierra Nevada, of course. See what Nick's got with a big two. Oh, three onto the 50-50 on the down rail. Making it look easy. Here he comes. Looks like he's got a big seven throwing over that first hit, coming into the second hit. And a huge frontside one. Clearing it nice and smooth as he points it into the rainbow. Board slide 270 out of the rainbow. Nice run out of Nicholas Struther from SNC. Got another SNC boy, Matt Romanowitz, coming at you next in bib 42. Before we get on to our boy, Robbie Rodler. And Frederick McCarthy has pushed his way into third place with a score of 50.33. Yeah, he had a solid run. That's not a big surprise. A lot of difficulty as well. Yeah. Definitely got the debauchery. <laughs> big points for attitude and debauchery. We'll see if Nick Struther can bounce anyone out of the top three here. I'm looking for Matt Romanowitz to drop next. Another SNC boy. And Nicholas Struther... Unofficial, of course, has moved into first place. There we have with it. With a score of 70.33. Nick putting it down with a 70.33. Nice work, Nick. Well, at SNC. See if his teammate Matt Romanowitz can top that. Waiting for Matt to drop any minute now in bid 42 as we look at that first rail option. And then we're looking at Robbie Rodler, Benjamin Hodge Noski, and Lucas K. Westminster College, SNC, and Westminster College rounding out the bottom half of this first men's heat. I'm expecting big things out of Robbie today, man. We are talking with our camera guy, Cal, and a uh, former classmate of Robbie's, and we hear that Robbie likes to sleep in refrigerators. He does. It's because he's just that cool. But I also hear that he has a grade A Tinder profile. So ladies, keep in mind, Robbie's really rocking it on Tinder. If you like what you see here today, you can find him then. Then and there, and here we got Matt Romanowitz coming at you in 42. It looks like they're ready to rock. All right. Matthew Romanowitz dropping switch. Dropping in switch. Let's see what Matt's got in that first rail option. Taking his time coming in. 42, dropping in switch. Here he comes. Let's see what he's got for us on that down rail. On he's course. on course. Coming into the box, it sounds like, actually. Nope. There he is on the down rail. Coming in switch. Big 270, front board. Coming out of that switch still as he comes into the first hit. He's switched, ladies and gentlemen, right now. And big five with a huge grab over that first hit. Now he's regular, riding into the second one with tons of speed. Just throwing Whoa. it down. Getting all crazy with a big seven McTwist, it looked like. Briefly Coming into the rainbow rail. Nice shifty back one out of the top of the rainbow rail. That was a solid run out that of was. it. That was. I like what I'm seeing from Matt near, Manowitz. Near perfect. Just a slight hand back on the second landing. I wouldn't be surprised if he takes the lead before we see Robbie and Benjamin and Lucas come up. But so there's some I. stiff competition following him, so he shouldn't get too comfy in that top position. And excuse me, Nick Struther is still in first place, but he does have a score, it looks like, of a 68. 
68. Correction on the uh, 70. Next feather has a 68. We'll wait for Matt Romanowitz's score as Robbie Rothler steps into the gate out of Westminster College. Here comes Robbie. I've been a fan of him this week. He's really been putting it down. He threw it down on the rail gym for us the other day. Been excited to see what he has in store on the slope today. We're just sitting tight, waiting for Robbie to run. He's out of Westminster College again. Got another camera for you up there now. The production team is working hard today to get the best coverage of the USCSA. And Robbie's dropping in switch, it sounds like. He's on course, coming out of Westminster. So recognizable, lanky dude that he is. Nice 270. Bringing it out. Huge wow. Wow. Seven invert with a huge tweaking out that indie big time and going with another seven in the opposite direction Ooh. off the second jump. Popping it around as he comes into the rainbow rail. Huge backflip off the oh, rainbow. Oh. Robbie, my boy. <laughs> I knew you had some in store for us today. He's not done. Like 180 on. Like it's nothing. There's another rail waiting for me. Holy smokes, man. That's going to be a... Might as well wait till we get the score for Robbie to tell you what's going on. But just before he's in there, Matt Romanowitz has moved his way to second place. So we've got Nick Struther in first. Matthew Romanowitz in second place. And Frederick McCarthy holding down the third position at the moment. For now. Let's see what the judges thought of Robbie, but we got two more guys Certainly. coming at you from Sierra Nevada and Westminster, and judging by what they put down earlier this week, it's not going to be easy for anybody to contest with them. No, so but expect big things out of Benjamin Hodgnowski coming out of Sierra Nevada up next in bid number 59. That's right. These are our top, top two qualifiers left to come, so we'll let them rip, we hear. 59 drop and switch. Benjamin Hodgnowski coming at you as he looks at that down rail. And it looks Let's like see what he's got coming Robbie Rothler has moved into second place with a score of 64. Dude, big 270 front board, 270 out. That means he's regular now as he comes in. A huge three over that first hit, just sticking it out. Looked like he got a little cork. Coming in with wow. a big seven. And front board with a 450 out of that down uh, rainbow rail. Excuse me, Benjamin Hodgnowski. Definitely making smooth. it look interesting. Smooth. Super smooth. SNC boy down there throwing it down. No surprise. Let's see what Benjamin gets from the judges. But we got Lucas K wrapping it up from Westminster College coming up next. He's going to be in bit 22. That's our first place qualifier. Man, these see guys if he can stay on top. So Robbie's in second, you were saying. Yep. Right now we've got Nicholas Struther in first. Robbie Rothler in second, and Matthew Romanowitz bringing up third place. All right. SNC in Westminster. Getting ready to rock another podium on us here as we wait for Lucas K, the last Westminster boy, to come out of the gate. He's going to be in bit 22. Lucas will be dropping switch on course. Lucas coming in, switch to that down rail. Nice 270 front nose on. Coming around, switch out of it. Coming into that first hit. Throwing it down with a huge court five. Nice grab, super stylish. And just hucking it. I can't even keep up with that. But he is spinning, tumbling a little bit on the landing, but definitely throwing it down out there on the first and second air feature. Not much speed as he comes into the rails. He's gonna hop onto that down flat down. Pop off a little bit early. That's a scrub run for Lucas, but he's definitely hungry for it. So expect big things out of his second run. He's gonna wrap up our men's slope style in our second heat. We're gonna switch back over to women's now as we wait for Tessa Whedon to kick it off for the second round of women's snowboard slope style here at USCSA Nationals at White Base. A lot of excitement today, no surprise. Been looking forward to today all week. We saw a lot of great riding out of these women and men in the border cross and rail jam. And no surprise that they are throwing it down today. Yes, indeed. And to update you for the women before they start their second run, standings after the first run. 
In 10th place, Tessa Whedon. In 9th place, Brooke Mortensen. 8th place, Breck Beachline. 7th place, Kaylee Smith. 6th, Karina Logan. 5th place, Rachel Leitner. 4th place, Olivia Shively. Oh, excuse me, 4th place, Madison Barrett. 3rd place, Olivia Shively. 2nd place, Emma Crosby. And in the lead, Ellie Soderholm. Sounds like they're ready to kick off the second heat for the women. Oh. I think we have one more of the men ready to go at the top of the course right now. All right, you tell me what's going on, Josiah, because I have no idea. Yep, uh, we've got Isaac Laredo, who was not ready earlier, and he is taking his run as we speak. Fifth 75. Come, comes in with a solid board slide on Isaac that down rail. Sierra Nevada. And then the first hit. Big three. Looks like he shifted it out a little bit there halfway through. No grab, but coming in regular to that last hit. Spin in the opposite direction. Going for five. Not quite getting it around. Sitting it down on the landing. But definitely putting it down for us today as he comes into that down flat down. Nice board slide. Trying to get it. Doesn't quite grease the whole thing, but solid run out of Isaac Laredo. Glad that you got to get on course for us today, Isaac. Looking forward to what you got in the second heat. And just sitting tight as we wait for the women to kick it off with their final runs. Second and two. We got Tessa, Brooke, Kaylee, Rachel, Breck, Karina, Olivia, Madison, Haley, and Emma coming at you momentarily here at Whiteface Mountain for USCSA Nationals. What you got for us, Joe? We'd like to thank Lakes Dental Care, proud to partner with USCSA and promote optimal oral health for all its members. They have you covered at this year's USCSA Collegiate National Championships by providing great oral hygiene products in the athlete welcome bags. And one of their dentists will be on site at Lake Placid all week. Check them out on Facebook, Instagram, or at their website, lakesdentalcare.com. And Monster Energy. Tear into a can of the meanest energy drink on the planet, Monster Energy. It's the ideal combo of the right ingredients in the right proportion to deliver the big bad buzz that only a monster can. Unleash the beast. Plenty of beasts out there. It sounds like the judges are more than ready to kick off the second heat of women's slope style here. We're going to be coming at you with some more action from these women who are throwing it down in the park for us today. We've got Tessa Whedon out of Carnegie Mellon kicking it off, followed by Brooke Mortensen, Kaylee Smith, Rachel Leitner, Breck Beachling, Karina Logan, Olivia Shively, Madison Barrett, Haley Soderholm, and Emma Crosby. Second of two coming at you their last chance to make a great impression on the judges. Anybody that scrubbed the last one is trying to make up for that. It's best of. So if you got a scrub run on the first one, pressure's on here on heat number two as these ladies get ready to kick it off for us. That's right, and if you got a good solid run down in the first run, you can go big. Let it all hang out. Hock it. Hock it, bud. <laughs> That's a little name talk. It's tough not swearing on the air sometimes, I guess. <laughs> We're saying huck with an H, everybody. All right, looks like Brooke Mortensen may be kicking things off here. Brooke Mortensen on course from Northern Arizona University. Ready for her to drop in any minute here as we get ready for women's second round of the slope style. Killed it on the first run. Can't wait to see what they have in store for us here on run number two. Sounds like she's going to be dropping in regular. Here she comes into that flat rail, down rail. Gets a nice 50-50, hopping on nice and smooth, pointing into the small option on that first hit. Let's see what Brooks got in store for us as she comes into the small side. Nice indie. Not quite clear in the landing. It's really slow out there. She gives it her all though, Brooke. Nice work. The level we saw from you today. I think that's going to do it for you, but hope you had fun here this week. Doing a nice shifty over that landing for us. Not done having fun, it looks like, and she's coming into the box. Solid 50-50. Takes her time to stand tall. Nice run out of Brooke. Sorry you sat down, but great work here this week, Brooke. Kaylee Smith's going to be coming up next out of UVA. We're in bib number 12. We had Brooke was in ninth place after the first run with 11.33. Judges are ready as we sit tight waiting for Kaylee Smith. That's She's right. going to be dropping in regular. 
Bailey Smith seventh after the first run. Coming in regular into that box. Spinning her way around the box. Little hand drag there, but getting funky on the dance floor for us up top. She's pointing into that second hit, looking for some air off the small side. Nice indie from her. Bailey's coming into the second air. Plenty of speed. Nice straight air. Gets across the landing nice and smooth. Looks like she's going to be eyeing that rainbow rail as she comes into the last option. 50-50. Eats it a little bit. Sitting down. Sorry to see that. She's up. She's up. She's good. That's part of the sport, ladies and gentlemen. Get down and get back up again. Judges are Gucci. Should be Rachel Leitner. Coming up next in fifth place after the first run with a score of 31. It's going to kick off a heat of three Sierra Nevada College girls. Let's see what Rachel in bib number eight has in store for us on that first hit. Rachel coming in with a nice 50-50, sliding the whole rail like she owns it. Coming into the second option. Plenty of speed over the small side. Big shifty. Looking at the second air, carrying plenty of speed into the small side again, throwing a method for us, tweaking it out. Looks like she's eyeing the rainbow rail. Nice 50-50, switches it around to board side at the end there. Solid run from Rachel. Very smooth. Stomping it for SNC. Good points for execution. Plenty of execution on that. Love that method. Yeah, that was nice. Got to love that method. Got Breck Bichlin coming up next, the teammate of Rachel's out of Sierra Nevada College. She's going to be wearing Bib 23. She was in eighth place after the first run with a 29. She's going to be dropping in regular as she looks at that down rail. Nice board slide, popping out nice and smooth. She's coming into that first air, carrying speed into the small side. Gets the grab around, sticks the landing, looking at the second hit. Let's see what she's got. Gets that tail grab, also nice and smooth as she comes into the rail option at the bottom. Looks like she's going to be eyeing the rainbow rail. Nice 50-50 over the entire rainbow rail. Fantastic. Like it just rained and she's making the sunshine. Nice work <laughs> from her. Breck, solid run. Got one more Sierra Nevada girl coming at you. Karina Logan's going to be up next in Bib 33. How are the results looking over there, Joe? Uh, for the second run so far, Brooke Mortensen ended up with an 11.67 on her second run. Kaylee Smith, a 17.33, and Rachel Leitner, a 33. Solid riding out of these ladies so far. We've got Karina Logan coming at you next. Before we head into the hot so far it's and heavy Westminster College pack. Been basically a straight reverse order with scores increasing each rider. Looks like Rachel Leitner is going to finish things up with a 31.67 for her second run. Nice work out of Rachel. So as of right now, that puts Rachel in second place. They say send it, and Karina Logan's going to come at you in bib 33 out of Sierra Nevada College, coming into that down rail with a huge 50-50, really sticking it. She's coming into the small jump option. She's got speed for it. Let's see what she's got for us. Nice shifty as she clears that first landing. Looks for the second. Let's see what she's got. Another big shifty. Nice and smooth. Getting the landing down. Plenty of speed. Coming into the rainbow rail here. Board slide over. Switch out. Nice run from Karina Logan. Wrapping it up for Sierra Nevada College as we head into the Westminster pack. That was. That's a nice run. That's got to be enough, I would guess, to put Karina into the lead for the moment. But we'll see. We will see about that, Joe. I don't know if I'm with you on that one, but it was a solid run. I expect big things coming out of these next four ladies as we wrap up. Women's slope style here. We got Olivia Shively, Madison Barrett, Haley Soderholm, Emma Crosby. Judges are ready. Let's see what Westminster College has in store for us today. No, you were right. Right now, we've got Rachel Leitner in first, Breck Beachline in second, and Karina Logan in third. That makes sense to me. She's coming into this first down rail. She's going to grease it with a nice 50-50. Pointing, she's going big, she's going big side here. Let's see what she's got. Huge method, love to see that out of Olivia. 
Nice big Indy over the second hit. Plenty of speed as she takes the big side. Not afraid to get some air today. Coming into the rainbow rail, gets that board slide around. Sticks that run. Olivia, nice work. That might take the lead on us, Joe. <laughs> We're trying to keep you posted on the unofficial, official, unofficial results here. Doing the best that we can. But Madison Barrett is going to come up next from Westminster. She's going to be rocking bib 34, trying to take it away from Olivia after that solid run that she just put down for us. Right. And I was just talking about second run, first, second, and third place at this point. We'll give you the overall rank when the run's combined. Madison coming at you here. Let's see what she's got in that first rail option. Nice 50-50, super stylish, stomping it, getting the entire rail 100%. And a big indie, big, big indie out of her over that first hit. Coming into the second, another big grab, clearing it with style. That is amplitude, that is the A of pave for you, ladies and gentlemen. Sliding around that board slide on the rainbow rail. Madison, nice work. It's like shrugging it off, no biggie, what you got? Madison, we like what we see. Haley's gonna come up next, try and top that. Followed by Emma Crosby as we wrap up the women's slope style here. A lot of excitement so far, Joe. That's right, as it stands right now, overall, Haley Soderholm is still holding down first with her 50.33. Emma Crosby in second with her 44.67. And that looked like that gave Olivia Shively enough to take third place at the moment with 40.67. Oh, Not surprised there, but here's our- Nope, Madison is third place. Here's our leader, Haley, coming into that first rail. Nice board slide, coming out switch on that first down rail. Coming in switch to the first hit, going big, big one with the Indy. Front one over the first there. Coming in regular to the second hit. Going huge! Love what we're seeing out of Haley today with a big three. Coming into that down flat down, she's gonna get that 50-50 with the 180 out. Love what oh, we're seeing out of Haley Soderholm from Westminster College today. Nice work, girl. Wonder if she'll do better than her 50.33 from the first run. I like what I just saw. I liked her first run, but I really liked what I just saw out of Haley. And like you said, if you got a gorgeous. solid run under your belt, you can just throw it down on your second run. That's right. So right now we've got Haley with the 50.33 from the first run in first place. Emma Crosby with a 44.67 from the first run in second. And Madison Barrett's 41.33 from her second run, enough to put her into third. So Emma's already sitting in second. She's got the last run of the day. She's oh, man. Haley's second run looks like a 59. Not Extending her there. lead in first place as we speak. There you go, Haley. And these are unofficial, of course. Emma's got her work cut out for her as she tries to take that first seat away from her teammate Haley coming up for the last run of the day here. She's already sitting in second. Let's see if we can top that 59 as she comes into the down rail. Solid board slide on the top feature, coming into the second hit. Looking for some big air off the big side of the first feature. Huge 360 tail grab, plenty of room to clear that landing as she comes into the second hit. Throwing an Indy, sticking it out. Not sure what's going on on the bottom rail feature. Tons of snow as she comes in and looks like a board slide coming out switch of the rainbow rail. That's a nice run out of Emma. I don't know what's going to happen. Haley's sitting in first. Emma's in second. And that might mix things up, but I would not be surprised if Haley walks away after the run that she just put down for us. So let's see what Emma's got from the judges. Little snow squall there. Sorry about the visibility, folks. It just suddenly came wailing through there and made the end of that run a little difficult to see. Everybody's competing with the weather today. Definitely makes things interesting. But we'll in this see if, if that gives Emma enough to overtake Haley Soderholm for the lead. Anxiously awaiting the results here in the booth. We'll get them to you as soon as we can. Haley sitting in first with a 59. It's going to take anything better than that for Emma to top her and walk away with gold. I don't know if she can do it, man. Haley definitely put it down. Emma put it down. That's right. Emma is guaranteed at least a silver at this point. So plenty of hard work Looks going like on. Looks like Madison Barrett there. will be bringing up third place with the bronze for 41.33 score. So another podium sweep for Westminster College today. And the scores are populating. The scores are popping in. Let's see if Haley can hold on to that top spot or if Emma just upset her. Anxiously awaiting as our iPad populates some stuff right now on us. 
And again, the unofficial, it looks like Emma Crosby's second run is going to give her a score of 50.67, keeping her in second place behind Haley Soderholm with Madison Barrett bringing up third. So now we're going to head back up for the men's a little bit. second run. Congratulations to Westminster as they walk away with a podium sweep again. We got a front board out of Jackson Kelly on that down rail. He's coming into the second hit. Big three with a tail grab. Jackson, how you feeling? What you got for us in store? Big seven corking it out, tweaking the grab, but not quite making the landing. Eating a little snow there. It's a good snow cone day. 50 50, 180 out of the down flat down. Dropping a hand, but having fun, hopefully. Jackson, nice work, man. Like what we saw out of you today. Jackson is in 14th place after the first run with a score of 34.33. We'll see if he can better that this run. Luke yeah. Robinson is a DNS, so we got Alex Broussard coming at you now at Elise McRae College. He's going to be wearing bib 14. He's coming in regular as he looks at that first rail option. Not sure what he did on that first rail. Sorry about that, folks. Getting ready for the second hit. Coming in small side of the air. Throwing a big seven. Eating it a little bit, but definitely hocking it out there. Looks like he's just going to roll through the second one and say, you know what? Have a good day, ladies and gentlemen. I had fun. Nice back one for you, because I know what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, and there's some rails left. Let's see what I got. Switch 50. Flapping above his head. Nice style on that. Nice work, Alex. Got Mike Moore coming at you, looking at that first rail. Let's see what he's got. Mike Sider. He's on course. North Carolina State University. Looks like he's heading into the box over there. <laughs> A little, little butt across. slide. <laughs> but he's having fun this week at USCSA Nationals. I love it. He's playing on the small side of that first hit. Clapping. Yeah. A little Eiffel Tower. Yep. That's two in a row we've seen. We saw. Oh, and nice a front, front flip. flip over that last knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> How you feeling out there, Alex? Mike, sorry, Mike. Mike had fun, Alex had fun, everybody's clapping in Eiffel Tower and whatever you call it. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a technical term, it just sort of looked like it. Ready, ready, All ready. Right, Trent Lawback. Out of Liberty University, dropping. Coming in regular. So Trent was in 11th place after the first run with a score of 40. Solid board slide on that top rail feature, coming into the first air. Looks like he's got plenty of speed for the big side. Throwing a big three. Getting the tail grab. Butt checking a little bit. Not enough speed for the second hit. He's just going to have fun wheeling it over that landing. Everybody's having fun this afternoon. Joe, he's coming into the rainbow. That's 50 50. Switching it around the board side on us. Solid work. All right, up next is Isaac. Oh, verifies if the radio is going to go in order or not. We'll find out who's dropping in a moment for you. That will be Isaac Laredo coming up next out of Sierra Nevada. Coming in regular to that first trail option. Isaac in 10th place after the first run with a 43.33 on this first run. Here he comes, regular into that down rail. Nice board slide. Super smooth, getting ready for that first air. Dumping some speed as he comes in with a big 360, shifting it around a little bit. Buttering it around as he wipes out a little on the landing, not enough speed for the Swing second by hit. the judges. But nice butter free for the knuckle of that one. Coming into the down flat down, it looks like he's going to throw a solid board slide. That's going to do it for him. Got Will Gann out of NAU coming at you next. That's right, Will was 17th place with a 27.33 after the first run. 
Northern Arizona University. Let them rip. Coming at you, folks. Okay, dropping in switch into that first hit. And then switch to the down rail. Solid forward slide, coming out regular. It looks like you got the nose slide front lip around on that one. That was nice and smooth from well. And a big three, going for the tail grab. Butt checking it a little bit, shrugging it off, not enough speed. We're gonna call it a day. A little nollie over the landing there for us. Pointing it into the rainbow rail just to make it fun. Nice forward slide with a 270 pretzel out of the rainbow rail. Nice work, Will. Having fun at the end of the run there. Sunday Kim is going to come up next. Westminster College boy. Where it did 51. Dunga is in sixth place after the first run. With Dunga a score threw it down. 56.67. Let's see if he can peek his way up in the rankings here. The snow begins to fall again. Dunga's coming at you switch here as he heads into that first feature. Coming into the down rail. 50-50. 180 on, 180 out. He's still switch. Ladies and gentlemen. Huge! Very Big nice. out of him. Not enough speed for that second hit, though. He's a little bummed about that. And yeah. just having some fun. Just a slight sketch on the landing. That's too bad. That was a nice air. He went big. Solid 50-50. The 180 out. Nice style out of Dunga. Dunga, we like what we saw, man. Hope you had fun today. We liked watching you. Sorry you're not going to best that sixth place seed. Good job leaving it all out there, though. Good effort. Definitely up next, Colton up. Bliss. Let's see what Colton's got in store. Another NAU boy coming out of Northern Arizona University. Rockin' bib number 10. Judge is ready for Mr. Bliss, we hear. Coming in regular. And on course, let's see what he's got on that first feature. Coming at you on the down rail. Solid forward slide, coming out switch. Heading into that first air switch. Let's see what Colton Bliss has for us. Going big with a Misty 5, but sitting down a little bit. Rocking regular now as he comes over the landing, just gonna have some fun. Front flip over the landing, Smooth. never mind. Like, you know what? I don't need speed. I don't need this jump. I can show off anyway. <laughs> and I'm going to do a board slide over the rainbow rail to finish it out. Nice work, Colton. Making it fun for everybody back home watching. Kyle Hi. Miller is going to be up next, ladies and gentlemen, at James Madison University. It's coming down here at Whiteface. Sure is. Getting some weather this week, making it interesting for these riders. We've seen it a little tricky to clear some of the landings with all the snow. Kyle Miller's dropping in switch now, bit for number 56. Coming into that down rail ride and switch. Let's see what he's got. Nice 50 50 on 180 to 50 50. Super stylish. Coming in regular to that first jump. Looking at the small side of the jump. Going nice big front three. Not quite getting the grab, but spinning off his toes like I was talking about earlier. Nice and smooth. Big back one with a shifty. Love to see that. Let's see what he's got on this last feature. He's going to spin 180 on, 180 off that rainbow rail. Solid run out of Kyle. Nice work, man. Like yeah, what we're seeing. He was 18th after the first run. I'm, I'm guessing he'll move up a little bit with that one. He's definitely going to top that. I don't know if he's going to take any of the boys off the podium. That was a solid no, run. No. He just Kyle put down on the floor today. Got Alex Herman coming up next. Westminster College. Alex was seventh place after the first run with a score of 52.33. Let's see if Alex can pop that as like the judges are ready. Kyle Miller jumps up into 11th place after that run, so much nice better run second Kyle. run for him. Got Alex coming at you here, heading into that down rail. Solid method to front board on the down rail. Love that style out of Kyle. Coming into the first hit. Big 540, sitting down just a bit. Not going to have enough for the second hit. But he's going to find something to do. He's going to hand plan on the side of the jump. I love it. These boys just aren't giving up. Skating his way across the landing. Nice front one. A little tic tac action there. Oh, yeah. It's not done. Board slide 270 out of the rainbow. Nice and smooth. 
Lots of amplitude on that rainbow rail slide there from Kyle Miller. Alex Herman. Alex Herman. Oh, do Alex, that Alex. Nice run, Alex. That's right. And Duncan Nylander coming up next. Got Duncan coming out of North Carolina, North Carolina State. State. There we go. That's a nice shot of the, of the start there. Ready. All right, here comes Duncan. Duncan coming at you regular into that first hit. Nice board slide. Super smooth. Tucking into the first air. Let's see what he's got in store for us off the big side. Big back three with the nose grab. Coming into the second hit. Going Boom. front three with the Indy. Spinning both directions. Judges love to see that. You've got to spin two ways, folks. And disaster to front board Very on nice. that down, flat down. Definitely owning that rail. Very nice. Duncan was in 13th place with a 39.67 after the first run. I got to think he's going to move up in the rankings a little bit with that Duncan's going to bump up after that. Absolutely. Sure. That, that was a solid run that we just saw Duncan throw down. Excellent amplitude, execution, and progression. He progressed. He did progress. Love seeing him spin both ways. That's a big thing for the judges. You can't just spin backside, backside, or frontside, frontside, whatever way you're comfortable with. We've got to, got to mix it up. So he threw a front and back three, mixing up the grabs, definitely getting the variation on us. That's Garrett Long you're looking at, bib 20 out of Liberty University in the start. Judges He's in eighth good. place after the first run with a score of 45. Here he comes, coming at you regular. And that run moved Duncan Elander up into fifth place. Not surprised, that was a solid run from Duncan. Nice front board here from Garrett. Coming into that first hit, he's looking at the big side. He's going to go huge. Nice front three, spinning off his toes, sticking that grab. And coming in, hucking it. Can't even keep up with that, dude. Nice work. Coming into the rainbow rail, sliding the rainbow nice and smooth. Lots of amplitude there. Love what I'm seeing out of Garrett today. That was a big run. What was he sitting in, Joe? He was in eighth place after the first run with a 45. Again, him to step that up a little I would bit. think so too. That's Ryan Franson, our friend from the chairlift, bib number 27, out of Iowa State University in the start. Ryan was in ninth place with a 44.67 after the first run. Ryan was definitely giving it his all though. Looking forward to seeing what he has in store for us on his second run here. Hopefully mom and dad and Emily can send some good juju his way for the second run here. As long as Emily's not too mad at us for a little joke earlier. We got Ryan coming at you in bib 27, coming into that down rail. Huge 270 to front board on that. Coming out regular, pointing it into the first hit. Going big with a front five. Not quite getting the grab and just knows he doesn't have the speed for that second hit. Really tough. Let's see if we can get that hand today. slide he was talking about. Nice board slide 270 nice. out of the down, slide nice. down, sliding the whole rail. Nice work, Ryan. Liking what we're seeing today. Match next, we got Frederick McCarthy. We're in bib 16, coming out of Sierra Nevada. We got three of them coming up as Sierra Nevada and Westminster is going to wrap up the men's. Out here, no surprise there. Frederick currently holding down sixth place with his first run score of 57. Trying to top that before, he was, before the rest of his team and the Westminster guys come up behind him. But ready, we're ready to go. Let's see what he's got. Dropping in switch. Let's see what Freddie's got for us. He's on course coming into that down rail. Coming in switch, big 270 front board, coming out switch. Coming into the first air, he's gonna be riding switch into that first jump. Big 360, getting the grab, nice and smooth. Talking into the second hit, just hoping he has enough speed. Big five, buttering it around, buttering back. Coming into the rainbow, airs on with a 270 out. Nice work out of Freddy. Freddy kicking it off for SNC. We got two more riders following him. Westminster, Sierra Nevada, Westminster. No surprise here that they're bringing up the rear. That's right, we've got Nick Struther. Nicholas Struther coming up next. Currently in second place.
with a 65.67. We're rocking to 47, standing by, just waiting for the judges to clear the course. More big stuff coming up from Nick, I'm sure. Going to be followed by Matt Romanowitz, Big Dog, Robbie Roffler, Ben Hodanowski, and Lucas Clay. Tight as the snow keeps falling here at Whiteface. It's been a really fun day at USCSA Nationals. Wrapping up men's and women's snowboard slope style here. We got a couple riders left for you. Here coming comes at you regular. Nick Struthers coming in. Regular into that first rail. 360 on. Fifths it a little bit up top. That's going to make it tough to clear anything. Sorry, Nick, but we like what you're thinking. Woo! Big air out of Nick. Going over the landing of that first jump. Coming over the landing of the second. Nice nose grab. Gonna have some fun down the bottom section coming into the rainbow. Airs right over the rainbow. He says, you know what? I don't need you. Well, that's all right. He's, he's in second place. That's why there's two runs here. So his first run of 65.67 is enough to have him in second place as we speak. Let's see if he can hold on to that hardware. He's got, got here some competition coming up. He sure does. Him. Matt Romanowitz out of Sierra Nevada coming up next. Currently in fourth place after the first run. Still holding down fourth place with his first run score of 62.67, and he's on course. That's coming at your switch, heading into the first rail, looking for that first rail. Sorry we missed that for you folks, but he's coming into the jump. A big 180, just taking his time with that one over the first jump, pumping for some speed into the second. Going with a big back one, not quite getting the landing. I think he's going to hang on to his first run, but huge 180 with a grab coming off that rainbow rail. Nice work, Matt. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. Booth favorite, Robbie Rothler. Let's see what he's got in store for us. He's coming out of Westminster. He threw it down on the rail gym, didn't quite walk away with gold. Robbie is in third place still with his first run score of a 64. Top that is looking to best that podium spot before Benjamin and Lucas bring up the rear behind him. That's right, he'd like to secure a spot up there. Got three riders left. Three left as we wrap up our day here on the slope style course. Boarding. It's been exciting. A little bit of excitement left, I'm sure. Look at these three riders coming at you. That snow is coming down. It's making it a little tougher for these last last riders to carry the speed they need for these for these hits. So yeah, I think that's why a lot of these first run scores are holding up. But it's not unheard of. But they're still bested, as you saw from uh, Frederick McCarthy earlier. But as you can see, it's really coming down here, folks. Sounds like Robbie's coming at the switch here. We're going to see him on that first feature. Robbie Roffle coming out of Westminster. Here he comes, dropping the switch. On course, coming into that first rail, coming in switch. Let's see he's got expected two seconds on. On board, nice. Coming out regular now. Talking for that speed like you were talking about, Joe, as he comes in. Huge, oh. huge port seven over that. Really tweaking the grab out, but not quite putting it down. Like oh. what we're seeing out of Robbie. That's right. Looks like he's going to hang on to his first run score of a 64. Big backflip going over the rainbow rail, though. Very Just nice. folks at home. Thank you, Robbie, for putting on a show for us. We like what we saw of you all week. Sorry you couldn't stick that, but fun nonetheless as Benjamin Hutchnowski out of Sierra Nevada comes up next. That's right. We've got Benjamin Hutchnowski, who's... Still holding down first place with his 73, so he's guaranteed a spot on the podium at this point. Yep, he's good, but just and out Lucas there. Lucas K following him. Excited to see what he does here, but uh, as we said, with the snow falling, it's making it, he really had to tuck to get the speed for that second, his first yeah, air there. You saw Robbie really the speed yeah, there's the no room for error off this first rail to carry the speed you need to get to that first jump. So Benjamin's sitting pretty, but Lucas, as I recall, sat down a little bit on his first one. He's got a 40. As I look at the results, yes, that's Lucas right. is definitely going to be working. And he was our first place qualifier, so there's 
First place qualifier. He's got a threat behind him. Expect Lucas to kind of make up for that 40 point first round with some big stuff, but he's sitting tight as Benjamin drops in. All right. Ben's got a good score already. Attention is palpable here at Whiteface. Coming in regular. Last two riders here. Ben here comes Hodgkoski. Benjamin. Out of Sierra Nevada College coming into that first rail. Solid front flip. Coming into the first air. Trying to get the speed. Doesn't quite have the speed. So straight air. Knows he doesn't have the speed for the second hit. Like you said, Joe. Boy, the conditions really, really a factor here in this tail end of the second run. It really does make a difference. I nice. love what we're seeing out of Ben on the bottom with that nose press to 360 out of it. Like got it in. That's right. So he's going to keep his first run score of 73, which currently has him in first place. And Lucas K has his work cut out for him. Got to beat a 73 to take first. Lucas was 65 points. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Lucas was our first place qualifier. Didn't quite put his first run down. But definitely looking to put it down here and take that gold away from Ben. As it stands right now, we've got Benjamin Hodgnoski in first place with a 73. Nick Struthers nervous in second place there with his 65.67. Robbie Roffler holding down third at the moment with a 64, but here comes a Lucas K. Switch. Lucas K coming in switch, nice 270 to front board. Coming out regular. Really trying to get speed for that first hit. Let's see if he can clear it. Throwing it down with Very a nice. misty five, it looks like. Coming in switch now to that last hit. And putting it, oh, beating the knuckle a little bit. That's where the speed comes Boy, in. that's Play. good effort. Great effort out there, Lucas. Lucas wanted it. Lucas didn't quite get it today. A nice run reward going for the 270 out. Uh, that's Sorry, Luke. That's too bad, like Lucas. Great effort. Really, way to let it all hang out and go for it, man like to see that. Lucas definitely wanted it today, didn't quite stick it, and that's where the snow comes into play, ladies and gentlemen. Those last couple riders were not getting the speed that they needed to clear that last jump, and it definitely affected the results. As you see Luke dipping it a little bit, just catching that knuckle as he goes for the nine over the second hit. Great. And here come Lucas's scores. Looks like he's going to round the day out in ninth place with a 54.33. And that means today's top four, Matt Romanowitz in fourth place. Nicholas Struther, oh, excuse me, Robbie Rothler in third, Nicholas Struther in second. And your gold medalist today from the men's snowboard slope style, Benjamin Hodgnoski. So Robbie's the only one on there that... Uh Broke up that SNC sweep again. Robbie Raffin for Westminster, bringing up the rear in third, taking home bronze. But Sierra Nevada walking home with gold and silver. They're taking a lot of hardware back to Utah with them now. They've been keeping them all week. Men's and women just throwing it down. Spears, snowboarders, doesn't matter. SNC and Westminster are the powerhouses here for snowboard and free ski. But that wraps up the slope style. It does. Wraps up the week for both. Evan Olmstead and myself, Josiah Babcock. It's been a real pleasure broadcasting the 2018 USCSA Nationals to all you good folks out there watching at home. Hope We'd you like had as much fun as we did, folks. It's been fantastic. We hope to, to catch you next year from Whiteface Mountain in beautiful Lake Placid, New York. We'll see you next year, folks. Thanks so much for watching.